Hi there, my name is David Harris. I've been an interior, exterior, commercial and residential painter for the last 11 years. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate some interior decorative painting techniques for you. So the reason you're gonna to wanna to do a decorative painting technique is to kind of liven up a room, to give it some life, um, to make a boring, flat, plain wall um, pop a little bit more and be a little more interesting. So you can see here, that I've laid down uh, just a simple base coat. This is kind of a, a medium brown color. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay, lay on top a, uh, a top coat or uh, another color that's gonna contrast with the base coat. All three of the techniques I'm gonna use today are gonna take advantage of uh, the base coat coming through the top coat. And it's, so it's very important when you're selecting your colors that you, you pick two colors that are gonna complement each other and not fight against each other. All right, so the first technique I'm gonna show you today is called combing. And the reason it's called combing is because it's done with just a little, simple little household comb that you can find anywhere. So to get this uh, project started, you're gonna start with a four inch brush. And uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's, it's, it's nice and malleable, nice and wet. And then you can take your top coat, and I just got this nice creamy little yellow here, and you're gonna put it on very thickly going to want it to be pretty dense on the wall. You don't want to put a thin coat on because if you put a thin coat on, it's not going to work for what we're trying to do here. Make sure you got lots and lots of paint on this wall. And then you might want to, after you've got it kind of surfaced, you might want to go over it one more time, just add a little bit more paint on there. Then after we do that, you're going to take your comb and you're going to drag the comb through the paint. What's really important to note when you're doing the combing technique that you're gonna to wanna to do it immediately after you paint because if you don't do it immediately after you paint, you're just gonna be peeling off some big chunks of paint, more like a, more like a paint scraper than a comb. So you don't wanna get it while it's nice and wet, not when it's clumping together. So the second decorative painting technique we're gonna talk about today is called bagging. And it's called bagging because the primary tool is a simple plastic bag that you get from your grocery store. Um, what you're gonna do uh, for bagging is you're gonna crumple the bag up into a little ball that fits inside your hand. And you're gonna get this nice little texture on your bag. And you're just gonna lightly Dip it in your paint. Sometimes it helps to get a little bit of the paint off of the bag before you put it on the wall. And you're just gonna dab it on the wall, just really lightly. Kind of like you're, uh, you're putting powder makeup on or something along those lines. And I like to make big hand motions while I'm doing this. What you don't wanna do get really big clumps of paint on the wall because clumping paint together kind of kills the effect of this look. You want it to be really sparsely, sparsely populated on the wall. Uh, my name is David Harris. I want to thank you for joining me today. And that is how you do some simple decorative painting techniques for the interior of your home.